Good morning everyone, my name is Akesh Gupta and I'm with Lightspeed Solutions. Today I will share with you how easy it is to use the validation functions which are built within RNSP Designer to validate simple use cases. To begin with, we're going to take an example here where we have an employee table which have been basically used to build the RNSP application and we are able to add, edit and view employees in addition to searching and filtering. What we would like to do is we would like to put a simple validation rule where we can say that the vacation hours cannot be more than 80. So let's actually take a look at this very simple use case. In order to do such simple validation, what we have to do is we have to go to appropriate page. In our case, we are only doing it on the on the edit employee page. Similar similar to this example, you can do it on the add, add employee page as well as other pages wherever this validation makes sense. So once you go on a page, you click on a field on the formula tab you will see a function here which says validate when saving record once you check it on it comes with a predefined code formula which is there for you to take advantage of by understanding the syntax now let me explain to you what it's saying here is that take the field value which is the text value that's been entered in the text box convert it into decimal and then compare if it's less than 100. If it is less than 100, then this error message, and if it's not less than 100, then we do not want to show any error message that has been notified by putting uh, two double quotes without anything in it, which basically tells the system it's okay. So we would like to change this now to say it's less than 80, and we can basically type in whatever error message we want to say here, vacation hours, cannot be more than 80. Actually, as a matter of fact, it should be the other way around. Yes. So what we are saying here is if the hours entered into vacation hours text box is greater than 80, then we would like to display this error message, otherwise nothing. Let's see if that works, first of all. While doing this formulas, what we need to understand is how to refer to the fields on the page. Every single thing usually belongs to a record control on an add record, edit record, and a show record. And once you have the concept uh, learned, it's pretty straightforward, which is the name of the table, then the record control, then the field name, dot text. That's basically how you refer to a text field. So let's validate to make sure it's working. So if I'm going to click this person brown, to make sure I can edit this uh, employee. I'm going to put in the vacation hours to be more than 80. I'm going to put in say 100 and I'm expecting an error message. Of course the error message came and that was the desired result. In case we would like to refer to the other fields as part of the formula, it's very straightforward. What you can do is you can always say if parse decimal what I'm trying to say here is we are telling the system to parse two fields vacation hours as well as sick leave hours so in this case what I'm trying to tell the system is take the vacation hours as well as the sick leave, ho sick leave hours and make sure they are not more than 120 hours and of course uh, I apologize there was a typo here vacation hours and sick leave hours can be more than 120 so this way what I'm going to share here with you is that very easily you can refer to other fields on the same record control there are ways to even refer to the fields which are being fetched from a database so we can always go back and write more complex formulas to validate. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, this should act as a starting point for you to write more detailed formulas and please keep looking for more videos.